What is going on guys? It's your boy Andy Arts and I have a new product to review. I have a new product and it is the Wacom One Pen, right? The Wacom One the Pen and uh, I've actually been using it and, and actually here it is. Alright, so here is the Wacom One Pen and I gotta say this is pretty sweet. This thing here, it is pretty, pretty, oh, it's blurred out, okay. It is pretty, pretty sweet, man. Look at that, look at this thing, right? And I've been using it for the past, like, um, I've been using it today when it came in. And what I, the first thing that I like about this is that it's bulky, right? I like, I like the size of it. I like how it feels on my fingers as opposed to the, as opposed to the very thin S Pen, right? So look at the difference. Look at the difference between the S Pen and the Wacom, right? So here's the S Pen. The bottom one is the Wacom One Pen. So it's much thicker. The, the Wacom is much thicker. The S Pen is much thinner. And it's, therefore the, the uh, Wacom One Pen is, is, it just feels more comfortable, you know? So, especially if you have big hands, if you have bulky hands, like, this pen, it just feels more comfortable. Like, I will get cramps. I will get cramps with the S Pen. This is one of the reasons why I was looking for a more bulkier, um, bulkier alternative. And let me tell you, the sensitivity, right? The pressure sensitivity on this thing is absolutely fantastic. Like, I am so glad I bought this pen. Let me, guys, let me show you guys. Okay. So here's what I've been working on, right? This is what I've been working on. And uh, I, I literally just drew this like in like in the last uh, like 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, right? And just practicing using the pen. So right now I'm using a pencil brush, right? So this is a pencil brush, like a mechanical pencil. Let me show you guys. Here, the, the, uh, the, the pressure on this thing is absolutely phenomenal. All right, so see, if I press hard, it gives me like this nice line. But if I press a little softer, right, a little softer. Uh, See, it gives you, like it actually has pen pressure. Now, I also want you to keep in mind that if you've been following my YouTube channel, this is not a drawing tablet, okay? This is not a drawing tablet. This here, right, this is actually, my, why is it so dark? Why is the video so freaking dark? My goodness, hold on. This is actually my Samsung Galaxy uh, book. This is Gal Samsung Galaxy Book 3. So this is a two-in-one laptop and tablet right so it's basically like a samsung tablet and i've been using it on this and it's just absolutely amazing so this goes this goes great with like most touchscreen uh laptops and pcs right so look i mean look at this look at these lines right i'm gonna so you see the different pressures when you apply different pressures it gives you different types of lines. So this, I'm using a softer lines here, like not pressing too much. Now I'm gonna press a little harder. I see that. And this is how I was able to do all of this right here. All of this. This whole piece, I just did it right now with the pen, just practicing my anatomy. Right, just just do, you know, giving a thumbs up. Right, so this little thing is, Absolutely amazing, and I like, I really like how it glides. So I should, let's use another example. I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna use another brush. I'm gonna use the uh, G-Pen, and I'm gonna use, maybe use a different color. Uh, use a different color. All right, let's use red. And I'm gonna put it, the point, let's make it, yeah, let's make it 12 so that you guys can see it. So if you look at this, see? So you get thick lines, thin lines. See, depending on how much how much pressure you add. And again, this is a Samsung tablet. This is not even a digital drawing tablet like a, like a Huion, an X Pen, or a Wacom. This is a tablet, right? So see the pressure I'm adding, and then I'm gonna see. I'm gonna increase the size of the brush. I'm gonna go press hard, press hard, and then I'm gonna press a little softer. See. It's the kind of lines you get when you press a little softer, 
right so softer 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 and then press hard press hard softer it glides so well it glides so well let me erase this right. I erase this I really like how this glides over the over the screen it's phenomenal it's beautiful absolutely fantastic man so let's see uh, let's go back to our pen uh, let's draw in let's draw an eye actually so you want to go like this it's a really classic anime eye right something like this my drawing style eyelids right and then it's gonna be looking the other way like that, right? I'm just gonna be looking the other way. All right, look at that. Fantastic. This is the kind of stuff you can do with a pen. Right? I mean, look at this. Look at this drawing. This is my drawing right here. Uh, it's not finished. I still gotta do a lot of lot of other touches. But look. I'm really glad I bought this. This is, a, this is an excellent purchase. This is one of the best purchases I've done for a digital, digital, um, digital career. So if you guys want to take digital drawing and painting seriously, uh, you can buy a Huyan and X-Pen, which I haven't used those, but I also recommend any of the Samsung tablets, right? The Samsung tablets are really good for drawing. If you're into anime, making comic books, if you like webtoons, making webtoons, it's all here. I recommend getting the Clip Studio. I've tried Photoshop. I've tried uh, Krita. I've tried Ibis Paint. I've tried many softwares. I, I've even tried Adobe uh, Fresco. And I can tell you, um, I can tell you, Clip Studio is my favorite. My favorite software does fire. I highly recommend it. I highly recommend you guys download it and use it. And once you get the Samsung tablet, right? Once you get a Samsung tablet, uh, this is, again, this is the Galaxy Book 3, 360, two-in-one laptop and tablet. So you can get one of these. Um, so you can have basically everything in one. Or you can get like the Samsung Tab S8, Samsung Tab S, S9. Uh, if you get the Samsung Tab, tab S7, the FE, does, it's, a really, it's a really good model for drawing, drawing and coloring. So yeah, you can get any of those. And it'll work fantastic. And uh, get the Wacom one, right? The here, the Wacom one pen. It comes, it, it comes with some extra nibs, right? So it comes with some extra nibs so that you can replace it. But um, and as far as connecting it to your computer, I don't know exactly what happened, but as soon as I took it out, I started just using it and it worked. Like I didn't even have to connect it to the computer, it just started working. You know, and um, yeah, but uh, if, if you're having, if it's not working on Clip Studio or Photoshop, just go to your settings, go to devices, and actually, let me show you. Hold on. Let me show you right now. So we're gonna, so I have Windows 11, so we gotta read this press. Hold on. Okay. Thank it. All right, here we go. So we're gonna go to settings. Right, so in settings, you're gonna go to Bluetooth and devices, and then it says add device, and then click Bluetooth, right? Phones, pens, controllers, and then it's gonna search for, for the device. Connecting, you should be good to go. But uh, I guess depending on what device you, you, you're using, it, it probably just gonna auto automatically connect. So yeah, so Wacom One Pen, go ahead and get it. Absolutely fantastic, I love it. And I just did this really nice drawing, which is not even finished. I like this pen. Guys, I'm gonna, if you like these videos, if you like, um, you know, product reviews, I, I got more of these product reviews on my page, uh, on, my, on my YouTube channel. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit the notification bell for future notifications. And um, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. I also do tutorials, drawing tutorials, painting. So check that out too. And peace out.